from a 48-year-old man. He ain't running from me, he's coming to fight. And so I got to dig in my bag of old Philadelphia fighters back in the day. I got to study, I got to get on my game, and I got to take the young boy to old school and be the professor I am and let him know his ABCs. Hello. Hello, Ken Johnson? How are you, man? Uh, how you doing, man? This is Ryan from Box Talk UK. How you doing? I'm good, man. What's going on with you? No, we're doing well, doing well, man. Thank you very much for your time. So I'm um, well appreciated. Good, good. Good, good, What's good. What's going on? Nothing much, you know. Just here, you know, just loving the boxing. Here to get your thoughts on a few things concerning the sport right now. Obviously, okay. you're one of the few men to, oh, you're the only person to have fought Carl Froch and George Groves, and they're going for their rematch this weekend. How do you see that fight going? Um, I think it's a pretty good fight. Um, I, I believe Carfrat should win the fight. It's um, you know, both guys are pretty tough. Um, don't play defense well, so going to be a lot of um, a very entertaining fight. I think it's going to be a lot of punches land, and uh, I think Carfrat is a stronger man, more experienced. I think he should come out ahead. Mm -hmm. Do you think George's youth will have any take in the fight, considering he seems to be? faster and a little bit more Rangers and Frotch in the first fight or was that more to Frotch being having more of an off night than Gross having an on night? Well, I mean, you know, Grove is, is, is faster for sure. He throw more punches, but I think Carl Frotch threw the better punches. He, mm -hmm. um, you know, he learned punches with meaning. Um, Grove is, 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 is you know, he's faster, he throws more punches, but um, I think Carfrat should come out ahead. Yeah, that's good, good. You know, you, your guys have had a few rematches yourself. You've had rematches with Chad Dawson, you had matches with um, Antonio Tava, and with Clinton Woods. What type of adjustments do you see fighters making in rematches? Well, n normally, you, you, if, if the loser always go back and, and, and have a better strategy when they come back, so... You know, that's what I see. Um, whoever think that they needed to improve on something, I think going to come back and make the bigger splash. So, um, you know, I didn't see the fight. Uh, I heard um, that I believe it was a close fight and um, um, Groves was ahead and uh, I think the fight was stopped um, by the referee. Some combination or something happened mm -hmm. and the so, uh, more than likely, um, I think Carfrat probably would come back with a, a better, better prepared than how he was before, because if he feel like he was losing and he want to make a better show of himself, then I think he gonna work on more stuff even so than um, than Rose was, because the guy who believe he was winning more than likely not gonna change much because they believe what they were doing. Mm -hmm. uh, what they did before was good enough to win. So if um, Grove can make enough changes and to put himself over the hump, where if Grove come back the same way, he won't be able to beat him. Hello? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, okay, sorry, we, can't, we lost, lost connection for a second. So as you were saying? No, I'm saying if Grove... If Grove um, stays the same and Carl Frost believed that he needed to improve so if he improved and Grove didn't make any changes uh, didn't improve then Carl Frost going to come out ahead so because the person who don't do so well always I think come back stronger because they go home and work on more things if they're disappointed in themselves that they didn't perform up to a, a level that they expect of themselves okay. Yeah, George Groves felt he was caught with a controversial decision, a controversial stoppage. You've been, unfortunately, you've been on the bad side of a loads of controversial decisions. Psychologically, how did that affect you, or how do you think that will affect Groves overall, knowing that maybe he's not getting the just due to him by the referees or by the judges? Well, I, mean, listen, I don't see why he wouldn't get um, judges and referee. I mean, they're both... Um, Englishman, so <laughs> I don't see why, you know what I'm saying, Un unless he's on a, a contract promotion and 
and the promoter basically have the judges and all of that stuff working for them. I mean, outside of that, I just think that more than likely he's going to get the benefit of the doubt. The better fighter will prevail because it is what they want to see. They want to have the best Englishman, I would think. So mm-hmm. um, I don't I don't think he should have a problem. Yeah. So you're but if you take on the attitude, if you take on the attitude that he um, he's the underdog and he's not going to get a fair shake, then that's even more strength for him to 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 put more work in because I've fell into those categories myself a few times and I have to put on uh, a stronger armor when I step inside the ring because I know that I I, I was fighting against not just the man in front of me mm-hmm. but also the people, the judges and all that stuff. So, uh, you know, he just has to arm himself mentally that way. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Jan. That's what he believes. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, that's, good. that's a good point. That's really good. Yeah. Looking at your career... Then you've been through a lot in your career. You fought a who's who of the divisions over three weight classes. Recently, you've been talking about getting a rematch with Bernard Hopkins. What's what sprang that on? Um, you know, I'd love to get a rematch with Bernard Hopkins. I've been working on it now for I don't know about ten years mm-hmm. or so, and you know, you always feel, find reasons to to for the fight not to happen. Um, you know, he's in the power position now. I believe that uh, it's a fight I deserve. Um, we, you know, there's no excuses for him. Uh, mm-hmm. We are the same. We're in the same age group, and um, you know, he was the first man to put a blemish on, uh, on my record. So, you know, he was in that same position before, and he, he when he, when he fought against Roy Jones, mm-hmm. uh, he's been chasing Roy Jones ever since then. All right, yes. Yeah. Wait until. When it when when it wasn't um, when it was incredible no more before you give him the rematch. So you know I've been saying don't wait until people don't have interest in either one of us anymore. Let's do it now. I think the time is prime. I believe he, he still have a stage, and um, you know let's get on that stage and and and, and show who's the best old man in boxing. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you. But well, I think it was after the Tarbo fight. You had like, said you said a comment that. I'm not saying I'm the best. I just always want to fight the best, which is one of my favorite comments I've ever heard from a boxer. Do you still feel that he's at the top of the division, considering the light heavyweight is so tough right now, with Cole Levin Stevenson hanging around? Oh, definitely. I mean, you know, all I want is is is, is just a chance. I'm not asking anybody to give me anything. I've never, mm. I've never, uh, I've never gotten anything anyway. I've never gotten a free ride. I've earned all of. Mm-hmm. What I've, you know, my opportunities are. And I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm working and trying to work my way back into another one. And that's all I'm, I'm asking for. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a, it's not a, um, unreasonable request for, uh, for Bernard Hopkins to give me a, um, a rematch. I, I don't think. And, mm-hmm. you know, I don't see why it should happen. So, and, and, and that's why I give myself a good shot at that, uh, at that title. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like stylistically, obviously Hopkins has changed a lot from when you first fought him back in '97, I think it was. Hopkins was yeah. Hopkins now has slowed down a lot and is more of a tactician, more than a pressure power fighter where he was before. We got to trade a lot. Does that work into your style more? Oh, certainly. I mean, you know, I believe that a fight between here and I now, he's a platter. He want to be smart. Uh, I'm smart enough to deal with what, whatever smart he is bringing to the table. I'm mm-hmm. energetic enough to to give him the fight that everybody seems not to give it to give him. As, you know, mm-hmm. he just fought the, this uh, this uh, this Shumanov. world champion the other day. I forgot his name now, yes. but he just fought him, and the guy just fought exactly what Bernard won and didn't decide. Bernard just he basically just brought his belt and gave it to Bernard, say, as mm-hmm. far as I see. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, those are the guys that he keeps fighting. I mean, it's a real fight between him and I, and I believe he should make that happen. Yeah. Uh, you fought a guy called Andre from Farah um, a few years ago. From Farah just had a very good match or a good show and against Adonis Stevenson over the weekend. Watching that performance, I'm thinking of your performance, do you think you're still in the mix now? It shows that everything's still in place for you? Listen, you know, at the end of the day, 
uh, two guys that I saw too recently and love to show that they were formidable. Mm-hmm. You know I mean, certainly when I fought uh, for Farah, uh, for Farah didn't have a name yet, but he, he he was a good fighter and he proved that over over the, the couple of years that passed since mm-hmm. he fought. And uh, and Grove proved the same thing. He come and gave uh, was so so that put that put and I gave those guys tough fight, even though my Grove fight was my worst one in, in as far as I can remember, mm-hmm. but still. Uh, I, he, he had all he could handle, so that's where I'm still at in my career. Even though I was not able to to put it together to be those mm-hmm. guys, but I'm still right there. Um, anything those guys do, whatever opportunity those guys get, I certainly deserve just the same amount of um, opportunities because I fought just as well as they yeah. did in, in the mm-hmm. fights that we fought. So I don't see why. Um, you know, anybody would want to say, oh, let's write Glenn Johnson off. I mean, half, you know, right? So yeah. they did a, a certain, uh, a lot of time and uh, invested a lot of time in, in my career. I don't think why I should walk away from it now. Yeah. Uh, you know, everyone always talks about your tremendous victory, KO of Roy Jones, um, just over 10 years ago now. Right about 10 years ago now it was. And... That yeah. that is what one of the highlights of your career. But like I said, you have fought so many marquee names in the sport. What do you personally find as the best fighter you fought or the the best you faced within that time? Um, I think Ben Hopkins is the best fighter I faced um, in my career, based on where I was at that time and, mm-hmm. and, and where he was at that time. Um, you know, was a huge separation um, between our skills at that point in time. I believe I've grown and close that gap and even step up um, past him, um, in my opinion. And the only way we can prove that, and I think he, he don't want to take that chance, mm-hmm. is for us to fight each other and see where we are. Yeah. And any anything on the horizon, any negotiations, anything hopefully to prove that you might get that shot or that opportunity down the line? Uh, well, right now, I think they're trying to... Um, you know they're trying to stay away from me, and they, they, I think they're looking to do the Stevenson fight. Is what Showtime seems mm-hmm. to want to do. That's the direction they're pushing. I heard the interview after the Stevenson um, victory over uh, Far Far. That you know that is the name they throw um, at him. So I mean, you know, I don't know if that's where he want to go, but I've been doing everything I can yeah. um, publicly to to to. to you know, to direct the fight my way, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, and, and whoever want to support me, um, push for that fight. I tell them, you know, listen, you know, I, I definitely gave some great fights over the years, and and this is a fight I think I deserve a shot at it, and and and, and whoever believe in believe that like I believe it, push for the fight to happen. Help me push it. Help me sell it. Help me um, yeah. spread the word, and, and and that's what I've been doing. No, well, we'll definitely help spread the word and try to get that fight out there for you. Um, Chap, it's been wonderful speaking to you. Um, 